Hi, I'm Krista Smith, and welcome to The Corner Booth. And I've got Scarlett Johansson in the house. I'm in The Corner Booth. You are in The Corner Booth. And we're going to talk about uh, her new movie, Marriage Story, and a lot more. All the problems were there in the beginning, too. They got smaller. Who the fuck is us? Yes. I think about being married to you, and that woman is a stranger to me. I was honest with myself. It was like a small part of me felt dead. I'm very vested in your career and your choices, and I see everything that you're in. And I feel like this is the greatest role you've had yet to date. When I actually committed to the film, it was a couple months after Noah and I first started talking about this project, and uh, he said, you know, he kind of gauged my interest, and he said, okay, you're interested, I'll, I'm gonna keep going, you know, and he, he was writing. And writing kind of with me in mind, and with Adam in mind, and Laura in mind. And he said, "He said to me, okay, I'm and I'm contacting you again. I have something for you to look at. I wrote like a seven-page scene for you, and it was a, it was a moment where my character first meets Laura's character, and I'm basically just presenting myself and and uh, telling her who I am, how I got there. And he hand, he came, he delivered me these pages, and um, what he had written, I just." could not let anybody else say those words. I just worry because we weren't going to use lawyers, so I don't want to be too aggressive. I want to stay friends. I was going to ask you about that scene because it's like feels like it's one tracking shot. You're just reciting dialogue from you get up, you go to the bathroom, you get a Kleenex, you come back down, you get up. You, it's like an incredible scene. How was that to shoot? Um, it was fun getting to play around with this dialogue and and be and have as much time as I wanted. I mean, it never happens that way when you're filming. Uh, but anyway, so while I was there, the producer invited me to see a play. It took place in someone's apartment with all the lights on. This is like nothing I'd ever seen before. You know, it's a work to get to a place where you feel confident enough that you can get it in a few takes. And it's just so different than the process of doing theater, but this actually felt much more like the process mm -hmm. of doing theater in the fact that I had, you know, seemingly endless time to, to, to play around with it and have as many opportunities to get it wrong as, as, as I wanted. Well, you had so many uh, louder scenes, for lack of a better word, but the quiet scenes, you just broke my heart. I think what I was so attracted to and what I could relate to in this was actually what remains between the characters, which is a, just lo a lot of love. And it actually felt very much like a love story to me, um, which of course is heartbreaking, but also so much more poignant than just a, than a film about two people that, you know, have grown to hate each other, because that's not really what, what this is about. I love your voice and your singer anyway, but what was it, like when you read that in the script that you're going to do that song from Company? You know, I thought it was so strange that he chose that song. I mean, yeah. I just was like, why? Why this song yeah. from this show? I still have no idea why he's in. It's so crazy to me. But it was so annoying <laughs> to get there on the first day. I had so much work to do, obviously. The dialogue's yeah. extensive. And we, I had so much to shoot. And they were like, so your vocal coach is here. And the choreographer, oh, yeah. and I was like, oh my god. You could drive a person crazy. You could drive a person mad. The whole choreography. I was like, why is this happening to us? You know, we had so much other work to do, but actually, it bonded us. You yeah. know, it bonded us the experience. And I was, yeah, we all cursed Noah with that. I mean, we were just. How was working with Adam? It was wonderful. It was really one of my most kind of treasured experiences I think as an actor was being able to develop this relationship with Adam. Do you view relationships differently now that you've lived through this process and, and said those beautiful words and, and kind of acted out this stuff? I had heard someone once say that um, divorce is not a failure. You know, a lot of people, it feels like a failure when you're going through it and I think a lot of people may view it that way, but actually you know, you, you should still celebrate the time, the marriage that you had, that you spent, you know, 10 good years or whatever it is with that other person and all you accomplished in that time. You wanted something, you were you were married, you made something, you gave it a shot. And, and uh, I think that it's an idea that this film is sort of a, a valentine for, you know, the success of those, that decade of 
of time with somebody. Well, you give a stunning performance. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks. You too. In the corner. <laughs>